All right, guys, welcome to the video. Uh, we are on the road to 200 subscribers this week. I got a video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe, share the videos, greatly appreciate it. We're on the road to 200 this week. Hopefully we can get it. Thank you guys so much for all the support and uh, enjoy the video. What is, uh, what's up guys? So yesterday, well, first off, let's just enjoy this beautiful spring day, finally. Um, oh, so good, so good, too bad. Don't have a car ready for this weather, but we're getting there. We've got about five months. And uh, that's when ideally I'd like to have this thing back together. So hopefully I can pull that off. Um, kind of give you an idea what we got going on, where we are at. Because yesterday, last night, when we did a lot of work to this, my phone was pretty dead. So I wasn't able to really pick it up and record anything. Um, well, look at that. Manufactured in the 6th of 81 how about that i don't know if... kind of cool anyways moving on we are uh we're moving along with this thing i got a few things i gotta take out today my little platforms um my seat brackets and um, you'll notice the steering column's gone because we are going with a tubular column. Um, brake master cylinder's gone because we're, we don't, well, we aren't gonna use the, oh, I can't think of the name. The hydraulic booster brakes, whatever you wanna call them. We're not using them. The ones that are ran off of engine vacuum, um, not using them, going manual brakes, so I need to take the master off because we can't use that master anyways. Got to buy a new one. We also want to run some new brake lines and uh, route them a little bit differently um, from how they came from Ford. Um, you'll notice that some of them actually run through the car. I don't know how we really feel like running them, but I'm, I'm assuming we're going to run them a little bit different. But that's not the coolest of news. Um, so... Dad and I came in and we took the rear end apart. Um, I don't know if you've seen the ride height we've decided yet um, or if I've kept that kind of hidden in the video, but we took the rear end apart and um, like I said earlier or maybe in the last video, we were kind of deciding, we were kind of deciding what direction we wanted to go with, um, with the rear end. Um, cost effective, but also safe. Now, if we wanted to do 9-inch ends, um, new axles, the whole 9, you know, including, I mean, let's, let's just call it what it is. It's, it's too grand. Um, now, we did go into here, and we're actually going to save some money, and it's going to work out pretty well first. So, like I said earlier either earlier or the video before um this thing has c-clip limiters in it already which is very handy so that's nice i do have to buy new ones or i'd like to buy new ones i don't know how old these ones are um we're gonna kind of beat them up a little bit too because we are gonna be able to shorten this rear end housing about an inch we had the axle out, or one axle out, um, and I'll show a picture of it in here. It's it's actually got some nice stuff. Um, it is a Mosier 33 spline axle, which is better than the 28, better than the 32. Um, not as good as a 35, or I believe they go up to 40 or 45. Um, obviously, it could be better, but 33 is really good. It's a good start. Um, it's definitely, uh, definitely safe enough to run in the operation that we plan on running, which is, you know, I, I'm assuming this thing's going to launch fairly soft and really pour the power in at the top end. Um, at least that's going to be the idea for a lot of the no prep stuff that I do plan on attending and going to, um, just it, it'll work. So 
we can shorten the axle ourselves. We can keep the four lug and just in, and just go into the, um, I believe they're inch and five eight studs. I'll double check, but we can get a stud kit, get the inch and five eight studs, put them in. Um, we were going to redrill the axles to five lug, but we asked Mosher and Mosher's like, nope, you can't do it. There's not enough, um, there's not enough surface area. Let's see if I can knock this off real quick. Yeah. Okay. That's all slimy. So if you look here, we, we would ideally want to do a five lug, but there's not enough surface area on this to allow that to happen. Um, but we can do inch and five eight studs, which gives it really, really beefy studs. Um, we can keep it four lug, keeps the cost down. Now that does hurt my wheel options, but you got to think of it this way. I can get it running and driving on the four lugs and then uh, down the road I can get, you know, I mean, I, let's be completely honest. Wheels, wheels can be upwards of four grand just because, I mean, you want the nice stuff. It's probably, it's almost a thousand bucks wheel guaranteed. Um, it might be like eight, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars a wheel, which is a lot. It's crazy. Um, so I can do some decent four lug wheels on this thing. Still clean it up, make it look really nice. Have an inch and five eight stud, which is strong enough. It's good enough for what we're doing. And you know, on the road, when I get some time, save up some more money, uh, we can go. We can lop the ends off, put nine inch ends on it, do five lug, and then I got even better wheel options. So maybe, maybe that's a winter project deal. Um, but. To get it running and driving up this season and get some drive time on the engine transmission, hit some races up. We're going to keep a four lug, do an inch and five eight studs, and um, keep us safe and keep us pretty, pretty good in the budget. Um, like, I, I honestly got to think we're probably saving almost $1,000, uh, if not more, going this route. Um, you know, we're going to lap the ends off, <clears throat> cut about an inch out. Weld it all back up. We can come in here, weld these tubes back up. What we are going to do is obviously you had the shock and the spring out here. We're going to bring the coil over in. We are going to re weld the anti roll bar because whoever did that first is, I mean, you know, it stayed in there, but we're going we're to redo it. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a coil over in here. We are going to just clean this up a little bit. Um, no more, sh you know, no more shock and spring out here because we do, if we do come in an inch, we want all this wheel clearance. What's really nice is we got a lot of ability to have a, a good sized tire underneath here. I got a 10.5 on the other side I'm about to show you and you'll see kind of what we got to deal with. But I do want to show you to prove to you guys that this is a 33 spline. I did count them, but. Let's, let's just do this instead. If you look in here, so we got a spool. And I don't know if you can see it, but ME is Mosier Engineering. A8, which is 8.8 .8 rear end. F33, which is, you know, the 33 is the spline, 45. So if you do look up that part number, whoa. If you do look up that part number, that comes out as that spool is a 33 spline spool. So that proves to the fact that I did not miscount. We do have 33 spline Mosier axles with enough engagement on the splines that we can cut some off of there, suck this rear end in, and allow for the ability for us to tuck tire like this. I mean, it's gonna look bad. So tonight, we are gonna come in I got cut out a bunch of stuff on the inside. Dad is gonna come in and cut out some, uh, cut out some of the inside of the wheel well, some of the inside of the trunk. We're gonna do some fancy, and by fancy I mean we're gonna put some wheel tubs in this thing, get it looking right, get it sitting right, put it on some good, nice little coilovers. This thing's gonna look good. Just keep plucking away at it. Every day we just gotta accomplish some more stuff. Like I said, five months is puts us in. August now five months is a long time but also 
isn't a long time. You know, it's kind of a big project, but it's all right. We're going to make it work. So that's ride height. And that thing is sweet. So we got some good news on the rear end. 33 spline. We have enough engagement. We can take a little bit out of the axle, bring it in. Has C-clip eliminators. I got to buy it new ones, but already has them. So that's good news. A lot of good stuff happened. We are we aren't terribly too far off in the woods. Um, we do have a paint color kind of in mind. So that's also good. We got, I think you guys are all updated on all the problems up here, but it's okay. Keep plugging away. We're gonna, we're gonna have this thing looking right, feeling right. It's gonna go straight, ain't gonna go right. It's gonna go straight. Um, it's going to be a fun street car. I mean, <laughs> let's just let's just run down the list of of airport no preps, eights for eight ish, sick week. This thing is going to be a Swiss Army knife of a vehicle, and uh, <coughs> I mean, it's just it's going to be sweet. I'm super stoked. Um, this is one of the most fun projects. I'm actually really enjoying myself on it, and I think it's because. I think it's because I, it's 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 simple. Um, there's nothing new that's going on here. You know, we're not the first people to put an LS in a Fairmont. We're not the first people to put a Glide in a Fairmont. We're not the first people to do anything to to one of these vehicles. But the path is kind of laid out. We get to walk the path, but make our own changes to it. Make it our own. Give it that specialty Bedell look that some of you guys are familiar with, especially when it comes to like the Buick and some of the other vehicles we've had. It, they have that look. They have that that uh, aggressiveness to them. So all of this is good. I'm super stoked. Um, I'm going to get better in my videos. I'm not going to do so much talking. We're going to show some work in here, but this one was pretty much just talking just kind of where we're at, what we got going on. And um, next one, we'll be cutting up some stuff. But this is this is going to be looking good. It's going to be, uh, I like it. Tuck and tire. It fits a 10.5. Uh, it fits a 28.10.5, which is a similar measurement to like a 275 radial. So I can switch it up. I can do whichever. Um, I'm a 10.5 guy till I die, though. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I've... Look at how good that filled out. Oh, it's going to look so much better on the ground. I'm stoked. Real stoked. So uh, I might go pick up the other wheel because uh, dad's going to make room for, for both of these tonight in the trunk while I'm up here cutting some of this stuff out. We'll have two cutoff wheels going at the same time. Just, just going at it. Just, just going at it. Getting shit done. Um, so next video, you're going to see all that. We should have both tires in here. Hopefully we can bring it down on the lift, get it sitting ride height ish and, uh, just see what it's going to look like. It's going to look good. I know that for a fact. So, uh, all right, I got to get back to work. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. We got awesome news in the rear end. Um, it actually worked out pretty good. Zero complaints. I mean, you know, we just got to do bigger studs. Some narrowing of the rear end, save us some coin, and um, we'll be out here four lug thugging it, because it's just, <laughs> I know people that have gone fast on four lugs, I'm not really afraid of it. Um, it'll get us, it'll get us going through this season, through August, through, you know, whenever the season's over, and uh, get a bunch of street miles under our belt, hit up some no preps, have some fun with the car. I'm super stoked. Um, it's going to be kind of a class of its own as far as looks. It's going to fit a lot of classes. It's going to look different. I, I'm excited. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. I can't wait to tuck this tire underneath this thing. It's going to look so good. So good.